Why do Catholics and Christians often give things up for Lent? For many Catholics around the world, Lent is a time to give something up for 40 days. What's given up could be a favorite type of food, such as coffee or chocolate, or a habit that somebody wants to quit, such as drinking too much coffee, alcohol, or excessive smoking. Or many choose to start a new routine as well, such as working out more often, going to adoration, complimenting somebody daily, or volunteering more. But why do we do this? Lent is a time to accompany Jesus into the desert, imitating his example of prayer and fasting. Jesus' regimen was quite rigorous in the wilderness. As Luke explains in his gospel, Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert for 40 days to be tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and when they were over, he was hungry. For many centuries, it was custom to eat just one meal a day in the evening, with both meat and wine forbidden during the entire 40 days. However, fasting regulations have changed over the centuries, allowing greater freedom for personal choice when it comes to these Lenten sacrifices. The Roman Rite Church in the United States currently dictates fasting and abstinence on Ash Wednesday and Good Friday, and abstinence on all other Fridays during Lent. Every other sacrifice that an individual engages in falls under the realm of personal choice and should correspond to a person's abilities and state in life. Giving up on something for Lent is a powerful way to imitate the sacrifices of Jesus in the desert and to unite our heart with his in prayer. While Catholics are technically not obligated to make such a sacrifice, the church has always encouraged the faithful to do something to enter into the penitential spirit of Lent more deeply. By making such sacrifices, we remind ourselves that we are not made for this life on earth, but we are called to something greater. It is up to us to make good use of our time and to find ways to refocus our attention on God, choosing the narrow road that leads to eternal life. Now, what are you going to give up for Lent this year? Please subscribe for much more Catholic content and prayers in the wilderness. Thank you for watching and may God bless you.